So you have something you want to share with me, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, let me share something with you, Jenna. How am I going to do this? How am I not going to fall apart every time I look at your kids? My father. Who's going to tell me I'm stupid? Who's going to tell me I'm selfish? And tell me I'm having a bad hair day? <laughs> oh, Harley. It's your unconventional way of taking care of things that I think I love about you the most. <laughs> you always made me angry, but you always made me laugh. Ha. Huh. I made you laugh. I was nothing but a big pain in the butt for you. From the first time we met, do you remember? We were on opposite sides of the law, and I had it in for you so bad. And you could have left town the night of the blackout. That bag of jewels. You'd have been clean, but you stayed. You stayed because Michelle was trapped in that elevator and she was scared to death. And because that's the kind of person that you are. And I'm scared because I think you only find somebody like that once in your life. And now you're gone. Jenna, I've caused you nothing but grief. You were so good to me and I'm always giving you grief. You must curse the day that you met me. Oh, Harley. My dearest Harley, don't you know how much I love you? Are you going to the service with us? Uh, uh Vicky. Hi, Vanessa. I guess you forgot to tell Matt about our meeting. My God, Vanessa. Couldn't put business off long enough to bury your best friend? <sighs> Who am I gonna laugh with? <laughs> Who am I gonna make fun of? <laughs> <laughs> Jenna, who's gonna fix the craziness in my life? My little girl is back in town. I don't know what to say to her. You were supposed to help me with this. I love you. I trusted you. You're my rock. You're a big part of my life. That's why I'm here. To tell you that you will know what to do. I promise you, Harley. You must know what you did for me by allowing me into your life. How much that meant to me. And how much I adore and love you for it. Mother, it's not your fault. The person who's at fault here is the person who told Jeffrey Morgan that Rocky was his son and not Buzz's in the first place. That's the person who started this nightmare. You're right. You're absolutely right. I know I am. Now I'm going to find you something to wear. It's my fault. It's not my fault. I was trying to do the right thing. But I don't... I'm so broken. And now your children have lost you. That's what I have to live with. We can't change what's happened. God knows I would if I could. 
Jenna. But the future is what's important now, Holly. You must be thinking of your future. And what you're going to do about that now. Jenna, I'm so sorry. I'll never make you understand how sorry I am. I should never have left you. I knew it was dangerous, and I ran. <laughs> it's all right. Holly, it's all right. You were terrified. You could have run off without telling a soul. But you didn't. You went and found Buzz. You told him about Jeffrey. Even though you knew I had already discovered you to be the stalker, that was brave. I'm not brave. I waited too long to do the right thing. That's what I always do. And then people get hurt. And now, you've been... You had no way of knowing what was going to happen. I never meant to hurt anyone. I swear, I wanted to, to make mothers understand they had to take better care of their children. But now Buzz and Coop have lost their beautiful mother. My boys are going to be just fine. They will. They will. I have to believe that and so do you. Holly, you and I have lost a great deal in our lives, and we've, we've been hurt. But I know you for who you really are, the compassionate, gentle woman that you used to be, and I believe you still are. But you're confused, and you're in pain, and you feel abandoned. I understand what drove you to do the things that you did. And I won't judge you. I just want you to get well.